Hi guys, my name is Jamie Sally. I am an interior designer here at Texas Tech. Uh, I just wanted to thank you all for having the time to look through my portfolio with me. So I'd like to start off with my resume. Um, I currently work at BFD Interiors, which is a commercial furniture slash design firm here in Lubbock. Um, I've been there for going on two years now. We do a lot of uh, mostly specifying furniture. Um, I've done projects for Texas Tech. I've done projects for UMC, um, all kinds of smaller businesses in the surrounding areas, not just Lubbock. Um, so I've done projects in Amarillo, I've done some projects in Midland. Um, however, everything I'm going to show you today is, of course, what I've been doing in school. Um, I have been working and going to school at the same time, and thankfully my boss has been gracious enough to let me do that. Um, she knows I'm a very hard worker and she would not trade me for the world, I just know it. Um, so I'd like to start off with the three projects that I'm going to talk about. Um, they, one, each project has come from a semester in school, and so I just picked the, the last three that I've done. Um, the last one that we did was in fall of 2020. It was a group project. Uh, it was based off of a client here in Lubbock, Texas called Turning Point. Um, they are a church who is currently um, coming into, into Lubbock and they were wanting to see what we could do with what we had to work with. Um, so the purpose of this project was really to establish that partnership with my partners and my group and to come up with something really amazing. So we started off with our concept. Um, we wanted the overall aesthetic to be very natural, very warm, very inviting. Um, we, however, wanted to make sure that it made sense in Lubbock. We didn't want something that, you know, didn't go with the flow here in Lubbock, Texas. Um, and we wanted to make sure that it was very homey to the people who are going to be coming into this location. We wanted to make sure that community was very big for a very big deal in this environment. Um, so here's our floor plan. Um, our entryway starts here. We wanted to make sure that no matter where you drive in from where in the parking lot, we wanted you to know where the front door was. And so with this rounded um, exterior. It's a patio per se. It really gives that I'm here, I know where I'm going um, vibe. And then our lobby, um, whenever you first walk in, we wanted to make sure that you you knew where you were going or if you didn't know where you were going, someone could find point you to the direction in which you needed to go very quickly and very easily. Um, over here to the side, we have some space for just meeting space, collaboration space, hangout space, um, whatever you wanted it to be for in, for just guests or um, employees. Um, so over here, with that sense of community, we wanted to sh have a, a food pantry um, for people to bring as they can or if take as they need, um, whichever way they can help in just any way. Um, Straight behind our reception, we have the restrooms and a baptistry. That baptistry is a really big focal point for us. We wanted it to be really exciting, something to come into, and that's what you see first. And then, of course, these centrally located bathrooms. Wherever you are in this building, you're going to know where those restrooms are really quickly, and you're going to be able to see them from just about anywhere. So over here, we have more community hangout area space. Um, we have a cafe, you get your coffee, you have your morning snack, hang out before church, hang out after church. If you're an employee, hang out for lunch. Um, and then right here, towards this back, we have the kids wing. Um, this is an extension of the current building. Um, so the old building will be used for all kids space. So we needed to make sure that the space um, was easily used in conjunction with the existing space. And then right off of that, we have these curtain walls, um, curtain glass windows to see um, where if your kids are out there playing, they can, you can see them from that window, um, make sure everything's okay. And then we also have this very centrally located um, admin area, um, which we thought was really conveniently located off of that kid space. Um, if you want to 
if you're new to the church, you can talk to whoever you may need to talk to in there about attending the church and also about the children's space. And then of course, this big section back here is our worship center. Um, we have to set um, over a thousand people and we wanted to make sure that nobody was sitting behind somebody. We wanted to make sure that everyone could see um, the stage from wherever they were sitting so that this kind of hexagonal shape up here really helps that. And of course, this stage is elevated. Behind that we have, um, if we're having a concert or guest speaker, they can sit back here and get ready um, for whatever they may need to prepare for before then just a smooth transaction to getting on to the stage. So here are some of our elevations. Starting with this top one, you can see the kid space. These little windows here um, are also double as like a little chair for the little kids to sit in, hang out, read a book, whatever they may want to do. Um, we have an exit right here for easy drop off and pick up. Um, right here we have just our hangout space with some art and then here is our cafe we have this really great like pergola that has greenery on it we really wanted to kind of encapsulate it and make it more of a personal private hangout place um, and then here's our other little breakout area and you get a small glimpse of our little patio right here um, and then you get it again on this side here is that little it's kind of like a indoor pergola um, with just furniture built onto it. And then here is our walls for the food pantry. And then on the exterior, we had a garden, a community garden. So if you want to, you know, just come hang out and plant and hang out in the sunshine, you can do that. Um, so our elevation here is of our baptistry. Whenever you first walk in, you get this really grand scale, you know, focal point. Um, uh, we have this elevation here of our admin. These really interesting um, kind of plant life are actually acoustic panels. Um, we have an elevation of our um, worship center. And we have these acoustical boards that really help um, with, with singing. You can hear, um, you, you'll hear more of yourself singing and less of everyone else singing. And we have these incorporated lights um, just to give kind of a, just that vibe. Um, and right here, we have another elevation of the cafe. Again, we can see that pergola. We have some lighting in here. So here's the best part, our renderings. Um, I have to give most of the credit to one of my group mates. She uh, kind of taught us Lumion. And so these exterior renderings, um, we got to put together with her and they were just really great renderings. Um, it really tells what we want that space to look like. Um, the kids outdoor space, you can see there's a little hint of green in here and blue as where the kids can sit, the little cushions. Um, you can see our outdoor garden where people can hang out. Um, our baptistry, we have these really great screens and acoustic panels. In this one, you can even kind of see a glimpse of our lighting. Um, and we actually kept that same feature um, in our baptistry with the lighting and the acoustical wood planks. And then our kids space, um, we kind of brought the ceiling down a little just to Kind of give it a more of a focal point and when you're right on the right angle these little arrows kind of look like an um, a wayfinding feature to show like hey walk this way for your kids and then here is our exterior elevation and our front patio of that again with that sense of you know where you're going you know where the front door is um, that you don't want that lost feeling um, right here we have our cafe with the we have a uh, ivy along the ceilings and the walls of this for that enclosed feeling and then right here is our um, when you first walk in our help desk if you don't know where you're going you can easily find out 
So the next project that I will be showing y'all is the TTU Junction campus. Um, we did this project in spring of 2020. The purpose of this project was to help develop an existing um, campus uh, and help it not only just grow, but make it more usable for faculty and guests and students. So the concept for this was, um, I called it the King Ranch Ford. It is in Junction, it is a very small Texas vibe town. So I really wanted to make sure that we didn't astray from that vibe. Um, so I thought nothing better than a Ford with the King Ranch um, edition. So a big part of this semester was learning the, pro the programming matrix. Um, we talked a lot about goals, facts, concepts, needs, and problems in relation to how the building will function, how the form of it will be put together, the economy and the time, whether that be how it is um, running now versus how it'll be running later. Um, so this really brought, doing this preliminary design really helped br bring out like uh, what problems we could have, what problems we need to consider, um, the needs we need to consider, um, you know, facts about the place like, hey, when it rains too much, it floods. We need to make sure that we're not building something where it floods or if we do that it drains correctly. Um, and then goals, whether or not um, you know, our professors were asking for X amount of classrooms. We wanted to make sure that we were space planning enough for those amount of classrooms. Um, so design development, we had four buildings that we needed to incorporate into this land um, for everyone. So we have, it was a welcoming center, an office for the admin, um, a hotel and then graduate housing. Um, so here we can see that public spaces, um, you know, anyone could go into these spaces, not just strictly employees, not just strictly um, guests or students, um, but anyone could be in these open patio areas, these exterior hallways. And we do have employee space over in the office, um, the, or the office building, I get person. And then, of course, private spaces are usually the bathrooms, places like that. Um, so, yes. Um, and these little um, dotted lines, I'll show an enlarged version of that plan with furniture laid out into it. So the first one is the welcoming center. Um, I, in these floor plans, you can see not only the furniture, how it's space planned, but the finishes that are on the floor and on the furniture. Um, so here is the offices. This is the um, the head, the, the boss's office right here. She has room for, you know, me, small meetings, small hangout places, whereas the employees slash professors are more just they're there to do their work. Um, and then here we have, um, here's just another section of the carpet that would be in some of these offices. And then the concrete that would be in the rest of the building. And this is our little kitchenette for anyone to come in, hang out, have, have some lunch. And then of course the ADA restrooms. And over here we have the renderings. Um, when I was doing this project, I wanted you, I wanted that vibe to be very modern and beautiful, but also Texas. Um, so you can see that here in this first rendering with the wood planks, um, but also the very modern furniture. And this middle rendering is the um, the boss's um, or her office. She has her little meeting space here, her little more informal meeting space here, and then of course just her desk. And then here we have the breakout or the the break room. Um, Bankhead seating was perfect for this um, the space, and then bar seating was also really great to continue with the um, little kitchenette area. Um, the graduate housing and the hotel housing um, were almost identical, just a slightly bit different layout. Um, 
I really wanted to focus on um, grids and make sure everything was just very symmetrical, very the same, um, you know, no one got a way better space than somebody else wanted to keep it very fair and even for everyone. Um, and so the hotel suite and the graduate housing, they both get a full size bed, nightstands um, and a little desk. And in the case of the graduate housing, since they'll be spending more time there, um, they get a little chair to just kind of sit and relax in. Um, so another one of the buildings was the conference rooms and the classrooms. Um, so here we can see that these um, conference classrooms are, we have a, a variety of different sizes um, and the furniture that was specified in here is all very movable, very versatile. If you're having a, a speaker and they're not, the students just are, you know, here to listen, they don't need tables. Um, we can set it up like this. Um, however, if they're doing more group work, we could break it out into spaces like this. Um, and then, of course, if we're doing like a regular lecture where notes need to be taken, we can do something similar to this layout. Um, and then in these floor plans, we have um, movable whiteboards. So if, you know, they're in this space and then they're like, hey, OK, break out, do some group work, they can pull up this board and still work. And so another part of this project was they had these existing tents on site that were used. It was a military base. So they really wanted to keep these tents and kind of as a historic memory. Um, and they wanted to do something fun with them, whether it be like, oh, hey, just look at the history or, hey, here's what we can do in these tents. I thought it would be a really great idea to use, put these tents to use, um, you know, here's a small meeting room or a small hangout space um, for students or faculty. And this one includes banquet seating. So it's a little less movable, but to this one, we could just put movable tables and chairs um, and they could rearrange however they'd want. And then in between the sheds, um, I thought it'd be a really great hangout space for outside, you know, um, the weather can be questionable in Texas. So if it's blazing hot, we have these shades that can um, kind of block the sun from you. Or if it's a really great day, um, you don't need so much sun block. You can sit here. Um, however, these walls will kind of also block that wind. So here's the furniture, which I specified for each of the spaces. The welcoming center, of course, um, in the offices, they just needed desks, they needed it to be functional, they needed it to be comfortable, um, and also welcoming. So the desk, perfectly functional. Um, this is what we have in the kitchen, easy to pull up, easy to move around if need be. Um, the reception has comfortable seating. If they want to do some sort of one-on-one -on -one work, they could sit up here and kind of be divided away from everyone. Um, of course, we wanted a beautiful reception desk, something really pretty and exciting to walk into. Um, the conference rooms, again, all very movable furniture. Everything's on wheels. Everything can just be moved around as quickly as needed. Um, the graduate housing slash the hotel, they all got very, very similar things. Um, height adjustable desks, um, those graduate students could be sitting in there for hours. Maybe they need to stand up for a little while, stretch their legs. They can stand up with this table, um, really cleanable and pretty finishes and really great artwork. Um, and then the tents, um, again, with the one that was movable, just something with wheels, easily moved around. And then for the exterior, something that would, that can withstand um, not only the Texas heat, but also the wind. So the last one that I'm going to talk about is the Department of Redesign that we did at Texas Tech. Um, the purpose of this one was a kind of a renovation. Um, we currently have a small space for the Department of Design. And in theory, we wanted to make it bigger, make it better for employees in this case. Um, so we would take the existing student space and turn it into employee offices. Um, so the concept, as all of my concepts are, are very 
um, warm, inviting. They, I love the wood tones. I love the dark colors with the natural concrete. Um, so again, I kept that same sort of concept when I was doing this project. Um, this first one is how I planned on laying it out. We needed to have a certain amount of offices and it was a really, it was a kind of difficult or challenge to get these offices to be fair. Um, these columns are not at all equal. So making sure that everyone had a, a good sized office was a, a real challenge. Um, and then making sure that the flow of egress was good was also kind of a big challenge for me. Um, so yeah, um, the next one is the lighting. I personally wanted to keep most everything on one switch. There's nothing I hate more that, than walking into a space, flipping on a light switch and it turning on a quarter of the lights. I, you know, I want to walk in. I just want all the lights to be on. Um, I, I prefer them to be dimming if possible. Um, of course, in this case, we have um, can lightings with some pendant lighting as well. Um, so on this one, uh, I, power was really obviously is really important in an office. We needed to make sure that these employees were having enough power um, to power everything in their offices, um, whether or not that be their computer, but also somewhere that they're like, oh, hey, my phone's dying. I can turn around really quick and charge it. Um, and then, of course, the reception desk, um, they also needed power. The challenge for this one was that I wanted all of these to be, all these walls to be glass. So we did floor power in all of these offices. And then this kind of open space part-time um, area. And then of course in the conference room. Um, so elevations, you can see here all the glass windows, all the glass um, doors to the offices. Here's the part-time um, area. And then here's this accent brick wall in the reception. Um, in, in the reception, we needed to have mailbox for all of the professors and um, our teachers in here. And then they wanted um, display shelf, basically. Um, so here is my rendered floor plan. Um, you can see that um, most of this is all concrete. I'm a huge fan of concrete. <laughs> um, however, that's not ideal in an office. Um, you need a little bit more acoustics in this case. Um, so I put, uh, it is a vinyl plank flooring, um, but it is absorbing that sound so that these, the noises aren't just bouncing off all the glass and all the concrete and everything. And in my floor, you can see I have this neat little kind of medallion thing. Um, it was a part of another project that I did and I really enjoyed um, the shape and the like feel of it. So I thought it'd be really neat to lay that in on the concrete. Um, so here are my renderings. You can see right here where that wood floor kind of ties into that concrete. Um, and then all the book space, the display area, really neat um, reception desk, something that's very exciting to see. Um, down here the hallway, you can see all the glass. I thought it was a really great modern feel, but not too much. Um, in the conference room, this was actually something I custom built. Um, in Revit, I really liked the idea of this kind of open two-piece conference table. It gives it something, you know, it's beautiful, it's exciting, and it's different. Um, so the typical small office, um, they just get this little kind of L-shaped desk um, with a little extra storage to the side. Um, and then the larger, or sorry, the medium office has more of an L-shaped desk um, that is height adjustable. Everything was all very ergonomic. Um, wanted to make sure that employees were comfortable and happy as much as I could. Um, the kitchenette, I just wanted it to be very simple. I'm very minimalistic usually, and I thought that this really captured that feeling, um, but also, um, the natural elements with the brick and the concrete and the, the light woods. 
And then the last one is the part-time area, um, the student teacher or student a teacher aides um, that can sit here and work out in the open. And that is all. I just wanted to thank you all so much for looking through my portfolio with me.